Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you with one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same about you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning sub, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the support. It's like our community is growing rapidly. Being able to know that, you know, we're connecting in all a different way. You know, you're on your mission, you're on your mission to self-discovery, finding out who you are, why things are the way they are you know and being able to help each other along the way is truly a blessing to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you're comfortable enough drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and give how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with the loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so especially if it's an empath that needs you know spiritual guidance or confirmation or validation towards the life path or you and sole purpose and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's truly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um my meditation music i'm listening to is called boost ooh, boost uh positive energy full body detox and aura cleanse balance higher chakras and i'll post that link in the description box below and my video today is about uh, coming into new connections with different empaths are strengthening your gifts. It's like since the retrograde and stuff has been going on, y'all, I've been drained left and right because there's so many people that are coming in contact with me, which I'm loving. I'm so loving because it feels like a blessing within a blessing. Um, that's the reason why I took off yesterday. Uh, I did a lot of empath channeling and it drained the hell out of me, you know, and I said, I love that because that's a positive drain, you know, when it's like a depressing, you know, uh, drain or it's just like you're up in your feelings about certain things and you're allowing things to get to you where you're stopping your flow is never good. But mine, it was like helping another person. You know, I, I love the fact is that God has blessed me with the gift that that I'm able to see people's past lives or even see things that can help them towards their, you know, their future endeavors that they're going through and stuff like that. But it was just like yesterday, it was such a major, like, download, you know, because it's like, I've been experiencing this before, you know, when I go on one-on-one -on -one, and I always tell people, you know, if you're not comfortable with dropping, you know, a comment or anything like that, there's so many of my love bugs that, you know, get in contact with me over on Facebook Messenger. I always tell them if you're not comfortable what, about it, you know, just go ahead and, you know, get Facebook Messenger. And I know a lot of people don't deal with Facebook. It's either like Instagram or Twitter and stuff like that. I said, that's for the young folks. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'll be tweeting or I'll be gramming. So I'm just like, let me just start with this first, you know, do all that. But it's just like, I always tell people, go ahead and drop a line with me there. You know, we can get on one-on-one -on -one and it's just like, you know, so many people go through, you know, the spiritual awakening. It can be very confusing. It can be scary. You know, sometimes you feel like you're about to lose your mind. You know, all these different things will come in. You start getting chills every time you think about certain things or you could be talking to yourself. You know, because we do that. Empaths do that. So it, it's just like we're going through the house and, you know, we're thinking that. I was like, can this be real? This stuff, you know, I'm like, and then you start getting these vibrations from the top of your head all the way to you know and you just see how my lights and stuff just keep you know changing in here so i know my energy's like all over the place see it just happened again <laughs> where the lights start flashing and stuff see my bad y'all <laughs> because my energy is like a little bit crazy right now so you might see a little bit of lights flashing it's like as soon as i did this all of a sudden the lights went crazy and they'll start flashing um well, I had to basically recharge today, so you might see a couple of flashes through there, so I, my bad if y'all see that, it's kind of crazy, but it's like, lately my energy has been really off the wall, like, it was, I forgot what it was like two or three days ago, I was on the, on the phone with, you know, a soul sister or whatever, we were talking amongst each other, giving each other advice, here I go again, next thing you know, I knocked the power out in my house and she's in a different state and I had her stuff flickering. I'm like, God, dog, what is going on? I never knocked the power out of my house before, but I felt this major shift 
you know, with me connecting with her and all this stuff, you know, and being able to see stuff that, you know, universe is blessing me with me being, me being able to help people, guide people on their path and stuff like that is truly a blessing to me. It can get me emotional because there's a lot of times I see the happiness within yourself. I see the things that you did in your past life that can be very beautiful, but it could have been very damaging as well. There are certain things that we were on a mission for, like I've told y'all, we've had many past lives, but during this situation, since we're breaking, breaking like cosmic, what is it? Ka uh, karmic cycles and generational curses. It was like you, you could be that uber, you know, evolutionary empath. But for you to be able to come down to earth and be in that human form, once again, they had to wipe your mind out totally. But there are certain things, just like that residue of your past lives, you know, will come, you know, come into your mind every once in a while. You know, that's like the, that's the side effect about it. <laughs> certain things that you have done in your life, they might sound off the wall you know, or crazy, but it is just that blessing where people come to me. And if it's meant for me to help that person, you know, universe will allow me to see certain things that, you know, they're guiding me towards. It's like, you know, when you tell me about certain situations that got you to where you are, to where you're contacting me, it's like you take me by the hand and you're taking me down your path. I'm like, certain thing, I'm like, hey, do you know this, this, and this, and this, and that? There's no possible way of me knowing that, but it was like, God allowed me to be able to be that blessing for other people and it's just like it is amazing to me that so many people are attracted by my videos you know they can resonate with the things that I'm going through and the things that is drawn for me to be able to talk about you know certain things that I am going through and certain things that were like Rosalind we need you to shed light on this because there are certain empaths that are connecting with you that need to have this confirmation they need to have these signs to let them know hey you know it's okay to go through stuff you know going through spiritual awakenings can be very scary especially whatever that was it could be losing a loved one it could be going through divorce it could be going through losing a job you know or you're in a toxic situation that you need to separate yourself from all these different things that are occurring into your life to where you had to go through a series of mishaps of unfortunate events all these crazy things for you to be able to know there's something that has to give something has to change within me you know how do I do it how do I go about it you know all these questions come in your head it's like especially when you're going through a spiritual awakening a lot of times you have more questions than you do answers and I always tell people you know I, I try my best to help each and every one of y'all you know if it's meant for me to be able to know there's a lot of y'all that I've went through prior situations and it feels good like hey I messed up so I already know how I know the answer on this I can help them or you know or it's something that has happened and I feel I, well I haven't actually felt stuck pretty much is like I always been getting that gift of like hey this is what you should do or this is a situation that I've been in before so I'm able to help people you know so there's many times I've sat here and cried and asked God, why do I have to keep constantly going through stuff like this? Life seems so unfair. You know, I've been put in certain predicaments that other people would have probably just snapped on, you know, and I'm trying to try my hardest. But that's the reason why I had to go through these series of events so I can be able to have so many different people relate to my path being able to relate to know that they are not alone being able to be comfortable it's like i'm not going crazy i'm not nuts even though some people don't get me but it's okay they weren't meant to get you in the first place you know a lot of people weren't put in your path for you to they, them to understand your path that's the reason why it is your path because this is your journey you know the people that need to be able to do that is going to be the ones that help you you know not a lot of people are supposed to understand why you're going through that but why you're going down this road like this you know you're not crazy you have support only if you can see the signs that have been placed upon you to know you got that support you know, and I'm just like, universe must be really highly, <laughs> really love me for them to actually put somebody's life in my hands and being able to help people. You know, I don't live no judgment. I keep it real with you. Sometimes you might not like it because I tell you the truth. A lot of times y'all already know the answer, but y'all want somebody to be like, oh, no, it's okay. No, you know good and well. If you know, if somebody telling you, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to, you know point fingers at nothing but there's a lot of things in our life we know we need to let go of but you hoping that somebody else will tell you oh no you ain't got to do that no you already know and you just need confirmation if you need confirmation you already know in your head that there are certain things you shouldn't be doing let it go <laughs> you know and it's just like now I'm going through certain things where 
I'm not allowing my energy to be placed in something negative. Anything that is not, you know, helping me grow or helping me ele elevate, you know, is I, I just can't be in that situation because there are certain things that I used to place my energy in and that was just wasting time. And I, we ain't got that kind of thing. You can't buy time back. So you have to be able to face things the way they go. But it's just a lot of people that we are coming in connection with. You know, we, we might have some off the wall stuff happening at that moment. But it's just like a lot of times universe allows us to connect with people for us to be able to see outside things that we can be able to help others with. But also things that we need to change within ourselves. And that's a blessing. Because there's only so many ways they can tell you this. So they'll allow you to be able to, you know, if you're, you're going to a next chapter, there's two things. The only reason why you connect with other people is like for you to help them or for you to see the things that you need to change within yourself. They needed you to see it from the outside, you know, and that's a blessing. It's like, you know, they ain't trying to dog you or nothing like that. But they, if they want to, if they think highly of you like that. And they know you deserve every blessing that is meant to come in your way. There's a lot of changes that had to be done. You know, you can't run around. You know, you have to be able to forgive and let go. You don't have to hold it over their head about what they did. But if this is an importance of somebody being in your life, or you just have to take that, you know, hey, it, it was just that connection. We were supposed to be in each other's life for that season. Now that season has passed. You know, y'all, we all come into our lives with growth make mistakes learn off of one another and you know if it's meant for you to be in that person's life they'll be there but if it's not it was just a lesson and a blessing anyway but there's a lot of us that are connecting we're able to help each other you know and it's this beautiful community we have to where we all can connect we can joke around with each other you know if you need prayers like i tell people i got this new uh group page that i've started you know it's it's going but it's just like i I'm trying to have more people, you know, jump in and, you know, you can post st different stuff, you know, even if it's a funny meme or, you know, that there's something going on, like with the retrograde and some people might be feeling some type of way and they might need that answer. Or if there's questions that you want to ask on the group, like other, you know, like other group pages, you want to be able to do that. Like, hey, is anybody else going through certain situations where they feel like something's off or, you know, the energy feels heavy, you know, stuff like that. So it's just like if you want to be able to join that, it's called uh, a Hayoka spiritual journey. Um, you can be able to post in anything that's like racial or crude or nude stuff. I'm not, I'm not tolerating that stuff. I want everybody to be able to feel comfortable. I have you know, community that's all different walks of life, have all different kind of religions, and I want that to be respected. You know, I feel like all of us bleed the same. We take our legs, you know, out of our pants the same. So ain't nothing special about one person that's not special about the other. You know, I've, I have so many different family members. Some of them are from Iraq. Some of them from India. Some of them, you know, uh, what is it? Siberian, Liberian, African, all these different walks of life. They're beautiful empaths. They were all going down the same road, but you know, got different situations coming on. But it's like the more we connect with people, the more stronger our powers get. You know, it's just like we're needing you to help. You know, you have to go down a certain trial and tribulations. You have to go through all these different things because when you connect with another person, you can be able to tell them, hey, I'm trying to help you. You know, this is the situation. They led you to connect with me for a reason. You know, you can be able to help somebody who's lost along the way. And like I said before, you know, when we go down for our spiritual journey, it can be very confusing. It can be, you know, scary. If you don't know what's going on with you, you're trying to figure out why do certain things stick out to you? Why I can't be around certain people I used to love being around anymore. It's like when you're evolving, you can't do the same things you were doing in that 3D perception as you're doing on five, four and five and six, you know, jumping dimensions, jumping portals, you know, you're flighty, you're here, but you're not here, you know, you're dazing off and, you know, you can be telling people out, you can be on the phone talking to people, I've had it done, I do it, I, uh, did you just say something, it's not like you're, you're bored with what they're talking about. But you, get, you can receive a download when somebody says a specific thing or you could be talking about a certain subject and next thing you know, you get chills all over the place like, Woo, what was that? You know, so it's just all these crazy things are going to go on in your life, you know, with the Mercury retrograde going on and now it's like five or six planets. 
that you know are coming into alignment so a lot of things are shifting for us a lot of things are being seen in the light that it's supposed to be seen in. and it's just like life is too short we can't hold on to the things in the past we sure the hell can't change you know if somebody pissed you off or you know they hurt your feelings okay this was the lesson learned you know some people might be coming back from their past you know to see if they can be tested going the same about going the same thing again you ain't got a whole no grudges with nobody but you know how it ended in the situation you just you know hey i hope everything's going well for you you know much love to you whatever and i mean it's just at that point in time like you know i'm at that point where you know you're out of my my life for a reason you know i don't feel no ill will towards you but it's just like i can't go on the same route i did last time i learned from the last time but you know you can always wish people well because you never know you know what i'm saying you never know you don't want to wish anything on anybody because it's like you doing it you're not no no better than a person that sit up here and do that shade at you in the first place so you know pay attention to how your energy is changing seeing how you you know you get drained and easily are you going forth and embracing your gift the way you're supposed to are you helping others along the way you know because you got to remember you were that person that needed assistance too so you should be able to pass that on to other people so it's just like allow yourself to be able to use be used as that conduit from the universe that's the only person that need to be only thing that needs to be using you because you never know where they're going to take you to next so you know when you're heading towards blessings and stuff like that they want you to be able to do things for them that they have done for you so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope everybody had a blessed Sunday being safe and everything they need to do. I'm going to give them a post notification shout out to Cosmic Ray. Much love to you. Welcome to the family. You know, dropping lines. You know, I appreciate it. You know, you're giving your opinion. I love it when y'all sit up here and let me know, hey, I resonate. And you even get your, you know, put your, your opinion in it as well. I love it when y'all open like that. And even if you feel like you want to talk to me privately on a one-on-one -on -one, like I said before is very confidential you can hit me up on uh, Facebook Messenger under my name you know if you want to join the group and you want to participate in different things you know you can do that as well you can see it up under hey yoga Spir spiritual journey just in a request and you know welcome to the family so like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know if you you resonate or you know share give me a thumbs up Tell somebody about the channel. It's great. Greatly appreciate it. More of the merrier. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.